All right, YouTube. Just want to give y'all a little update on the Malibu. As you can see, finally got my rotisserie built. Got the frame out of here. Got the car on the rotisserie. I can start work on the bottom. I already started spot welding in all of my replacement panels on the bottom side. Uh, cut out my brace right here. Got the new brace over here from gbodyparts.com. Seems to fit decent. It's gonna need a little, a little work. Heat it up with the torch, bend it a little bit, get it to fit a little better, but it's there, I needed it. It's gonna make life a lot easier. As you can see, I'm currently in the process of trying to get this undercoating off of the car. You can see that's replaced the rear, I mean the passenger side, front to back, floor pan. Everything else looks decent enough. I can just patch it. Like I said, it's a budget project, so you know, we're doing what we can. Found a guy in my area, <clears throat> excuse me, had a mobile dustless blasting unit on a trailer. He could travels around and does it. The guy told me he wanted five hundred dollars to blast the underside of this car. Now, as you can see, it's a lot of bare metal, a lot of new metal. You know, I did my wheel tubs, spare tire delete. You know, patch panels here, there. Half the floor pan is new. And I explained it to the guy. I even sent him some pictures. He still quoted me $500. So I said, man, you know, I weighed my options. I don't really feel like $500. It's a lot more things I could spend that money on parts-wise and stuff. So I went to the parts store. But he told me to try out this aircraft paint remover. It says strips to bare metal in 15 minutes. This shit smells terrible. It's very strong. Say using a well ventilated area. As you can see, I got the garage door open. It's still burning my eyes. But, you know, I painted it with the, just a regular brush. It's kind of like a gel. Just painted it on everything. Uh, I didn't do the every single spot, but I just hit some some areas like under here where my floor pan meets my original body I want to weld and it had that build up of this black stuff to me it has the consistency of a, like a tar almost and I'm pretty sure it's factory but I could be mistaken somebody could have sprayed some kind of undercoating on here uh, I know that I have this wire wheel right here as you can see it's a big heavy duty six inch wire wheel for the grinder and it literally was just clogging up the wire wheel. I mean, I got, you know, you can see an area here where I got it focused. I got it pretty cleaned up, but I mean, just this one little area right here took me probably 20 minutes. So, you know, I didn't wanna, I had all of this. It's really thick inside of my, as you can see right there, it's almost a quarter inch thick some spots and you know I need to weld this seam to be able to weld it and then seam seal it real good so I'm cleaning all of that off now here on the on this side since it's kind of more on the bottom I was able to get it to stick better because it kind of wants to drip on you so I went ahead and painted painted it on this whole whole inner fender well right here I'm gonna see how good it comes off got some rust back here uh, I guess this is considered the inner rocker or inner, this the inner structure of the rear uh, quarter. As you can see, rust goes all the way through. You can see my fingers. This is the outside of the body. So I will be replacing that with new metal. I'm also going to be replacing this. Make me a patch panel in here. Cut all of this rust out. Replace this. Uh, I've been looking at the new trunk. They sell the kit with the four, 
four trunk mounts. I actually had to reinforce this one so the rotisserie actually bolts through the two back trunk mounts. So went ahead and reinforced this one with some new metal, some new bolts, just for the time being. But I've been looking there. They're like $89 to $120 for the, for the set of the four. There's two up here as well. Well, this is actually one piece. goes front to back, but it has the two different mounts on it here and there. You can see this one is it's worn out. So I'm going to end up buying those as well and just replacing them. As you can see, I'm thinking about, uh, I built this rotisserie. Uh, I got the blueprints off the internet. They have a bunch of different people make them different ways, but I like this one. Uh, it was readily available parts I was able to get from my job. Fairly cheap. Harbor Freight. Long arm ram front and on the other side. Uh, those are just the three ton, but that's all you need. I mean, it spins good. I actually left the driver's side door on, so it gave me more weight. So the car was able to twist easier on that side. Uh, but I think once I once I get ready to replace these mounts, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to weld, just weld me some brackets maybe from here to the back or, <coughs> excuse me, even maybe make something to go into these taillight holes. Just an easy, simple brace to go across that I can weld to my rotisserie. You know, I can always cut the cut the brackets back off but that'll just allow me to secure the rear of the body and be able to you know replace the the mounts without having all of this stuff in the way but yeah youtube i just want to give you guys a quick update you know it's coming together it's coming together slowly but surely as you can see this is the other side they didn't have two of the same color pumps at Harbor Freight, but same idea. They're both three ton. Doesn't matter what color they are as long as they do the job. But yeah, this has definitely made life a lot easier. Like I said, tack welding the whole bottom, all of my patch panels. Uh, and if a lot of you guys don't know, if you see this white, white oxidation on here, these panels are actually, um, what is the word I'm looking for? I think the word, it's not anodized, but I might, it might be, might be anodized. I'm a welder, I should know these things, but I'm having a brain fart at the minute. But it's the shit they tell you not to weld to because it produces the fumes and makes your welds look like shit, so try to get it down to bare metal as best I can with a flapper disc and weld it up but it's coming together remember to like subscribe leave a comment thanks for watching